I, uh, great speech, and I'm going to pose a question in the form of a comment and invite your comment, one of those cheat versions, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, but, you know, in talking about the quality of our political dialogue that we're having as a country, um, one of the things that I th it seems to me is one of the biggest problems is that we often in the media um, see journalists uh, analyzing bills or situations that happen, whether it's the Cobb, whether it's the terrorist bill or so many others, in terms of um, what, what they mean in terms of strategy, what impact they have on someone being mm -hmm. reelected or not. And they will bring in pollsters to give their thoughts on the impact of this decision. Who gives a good goddamn what a pollster thinks about a bill on terrorism? I mean, it's just insanity, you know? Um, and it's like um, the media is nervous to express opinions in the articles, but there's so much potential for um, evaluating a policy or a bill in terms of the uh, principles that we've established as a country um, in, in so many forms. And so, yeah, I guess, well, here's an actual question, is <laughs> how can we um, get the media to shift that and in so doing help shift all of our conversation away from uh, cynical strategy to what the real uh, content, to really evaluating the purpose, the goals of government action. Well, you know, this is not new. Um, James Fellows wrote a book probably 20 years ago called Breaking the News, in which he talked about this concept of horse race journalism, where everything is boiled down to the horse race and what it means for the horse race. And it's a bit lazy, frankly. And I think that we all deserve better, but we can't rely on others to do that for us, you know? If you have a thoughtful analysis of Bill C-51, well, write a blog, you know, get it out there. And in fact, it's really interesting because the most thoughtful critics of Bill C-51 are two professors whose names slip my mind now, um, who did exactly that, you know, got out of the political um, aspect of it and just started talking about what they thought some of the things were. But I got to tell you, one thing that bugs me, and I am a professor, remember, in a business school, but the thing that bugs me is the laziest thing you can do as a journalist is go to a pollster for comments. The second laziest thing you can do as a journalist is go to a political science professor for comments. Um, and you really have to be able to get way beyond that. I always tease my friends in the political science department going, that's an interesting comment you had about our city council in the newspaper. Your PhD was on the role of women in Plato. What do you know about garbage collection? <laughs> You're just a guy who reads the newspaper, which is fine, but I could listen to lots of other guys who read the newspaper as well. They hate it when I say stuff like that, <laughs> mainly because when I was a business professor, I did the same thing. 